Couldn't be any prouder of that football team. Uh, I mean, I, I, I just, I don't know how they found a way. I really don't, but they did. They never quit. They never quit on each other. It's something that every Mizzou fan should be extremely proud of. Uh, it wasn't perfect, wasn't clean, um, but man, those guys fight together. They represent everything good about Mizzou. Can't think of a better way to win homecoming. Um, you know, Brady gets hurt. Try to, can't really find a rhythm defense, just keeps us in the game. Hats off to Corey Batoon and that defensive side of the football. They never flinched, even after the, the uh, muffed punt. Didn't, didn't flinch, didn't feel sorry for themselves. Uh, forced the fake, you know, the, fit, the missed field goal. And then, you know, offense answered. I want to say how proud I am of Drew Pine. You know, Drew came in a very tough situation, let us down for that field goal, which ultimately is the difference uh, in us winning right there. And, and uh, I mean, for all the criticism that young man takes, 12 sure would die on that field for everybody. I mean, for him to be out there and put his, his body on the line for us is incredible and it ought to be inspiring to everybody that watched it today. So I'll take questions. You know, like, you know, I saw Brady, similar emotions to you after the game. He said, I love to do yeah. What does it tell you about Brady that you already knew, I'm sure? I already knew it. I already knew it. He'd rather, uh, I mean, they, they took him to the hospital to look at the to MRI, the, the ankle, and see. And he said he was over there. He just told the team, I gave him a game ball. <clears throat> and he told the team that in the hospital, he realized I only got two and a half games left at Fro Field. There's no way I'm spending it here in this hospital. So, yeah. Eli, what was the conversation when he when he sprints back out on the on the field in yeah. the third quarter? I mean, you you know, did you have an idea he was – what was the situation in the conversation? They said they were going to warm him up in the indoor and see if he could go, and he did. He passed the test, and he came out, and I just said, can you really play? And he said, I'm going to go. I said, okay, well, it's your call. So. Coach, what does it say about the fan base, you know, him coming back on the field? Probably the loudest I've ever heard the cheer for awesome. this season. Yeah, they were unbelievable. And uh, what does it say about your team's response and that ability to fuel the rest of your team for the rest of the game? Yeah, I just think it was that that energy we needed. You know, they just the energy kind of died out. We weren't really playing good. Couldn't really get into a rhythm. But he came back and gave us a spark. And uh, that big, that throw to Mookie, and then for Mookie to make the play, and just uh, he stood in the pocket, and made the best throw. But you know, so far this year, so um, really proud of the fans. Fans were awesome. Obviously, they were they stayed the whole game. Got loud at the end and helped us find a way to win. At this point in the season, what you're facing for the rest of the year? They're all important. I mean, they're all important. But you just keep stacking them up one by one. And at the end of the year, you look back on them. Obviously, for us, that means we're bowl eligible. Um, I told the team this morning, everything we want is on the other side of this game if we can win. You know, and whatever we got to do to win this game, find a way to do it. And they sure did. Boy, they did. You like what happened on the sideline before the 17 plays, 95 yards. What, what was kind of the atmosphere around? Well, we actually did a two-minute drill Wednesday, and uh, you know the whole conversation with us on our two-minute drives have been we run out of downs more than we run out of time. So let's just find completions, just one play at a time. And, and he did. And even when we got the sack, you know, found a completion, Luther, another great throw, and and then fourth down, it just comes down to cri critical execution. And there was no doubt he was going to Luther. Eli, obviously, could be a ton of focus on Brady, but. For the last nine yards of that drive to come on from a kid that hasn't had a whole lot of carries this season, what did Jamal do for you? Yeah, so, you know, Nate uh, on the first drive hurt his foot. Um, it's not broke, but we don't know how bad he's, he wasn't able to go. And Jamal's always been kind of our third down back, and so he's in in the two-minute drive. And, you know, we just said it, it, when we got down to the 10, we wanted to sneak a run, and we got the outside zone. For the first down, we wanted to sneak another one so we could sub in the 11 personnel because there was, I think, 56 seconds left. So had plenty of time to get the right plays in, and uh, Jamal just refused to be tackled. Coach, a whole lot of talk about the offense. Obviously, that was an awesome drive at the end of the game. But defensively, that might have been the most complete game you guys have played all year. What do you, you think like so? defense? I liked everything about it. They played, I mean, other than the one big play, they, they really contained the run game, which we knew was important. They hit the quarterback. I don't know what the numbers are on third down, because I left that in the, in the deal. But uh, they played really well. and. 
Corey had a beat on what they were doing and, and uh, felt like he called a great game. And it just seemed like Eddie Kelly and Champ were all over the field today. So Marvin had the big play on third down on the quarterback run. Huh? Four of 14. Four of 14. Yeah, we, we dominated them. After that last touchdown, it looked like Brady went straight for Drew on the sideline and they were celebrating. Yeah. What does that say about the brotherhood and their relationship? Yeah. Like I said, we're all proud of Drew. He came in a very difficult situation and played uh, played well enough to keep us in the game. Didn't didn't put us in a bad spot at all. And and uh, so, yeah, those those guys just want to win in the locker room. They really don't care. They just want to win. Yeah, Luther's a this play mentality kind of guy. He really doesn't worry about it. So, um, absolutely, it was redeeming. But the play before, he caught the. Uh, it would have been a 15-yard pass over the middle. So, uh, you know, he was trying to make a play right there. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the play call is because we are a no-huddle offense. So. This play philosophy. The, every play has a life of its own. Previous play doesn't matter. The final score doesn't matter. It's all about this play and giving us everything you got on this play. And that's the mindset of our team. We're never going to play perfect. We're going to play the best we can on this play. How does an emotional win like this kind of build that wilderness brotherhood that you talked about? Yeah, that gum right, it will. Um, it will. I mean, there's a lot of recruits here today in the locker room celebrating right now. There's a lot of um, toughness in that team. There's a lot of young guys in that team that haven't had a win like that before. And so they know they're, they're never out of the fight. Uh, you're never out of the fight. Just got to keep swinging. And especially the response after what happened to us a couple weeks ago um, for this team to, to, to find it and figure it out like that. Bodes well for the rest of the year. I understand it just happened, but where's that drive rank of, uh, among the ones you've been around in your football career? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest. We got quite a few since I've been here. You know, we had the one against Arkansas with 37 seconds left. We uh, had Florida uh, 21. Uh, obviously, we had Kansas State, Florida. Yeah, we've had a lot. So, yeah, it's another good one. Tough team, tough-minded team. Brady said this week that he had been the best he'd been all year some, well, yeah. in practice. Um, he said that he'd been dealing with some lower body stuff. Yep. That he was feeling better entering this game. Yeah. Was what happened today a kind of a reaggravation of that, or was that something new? Um, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. He, he's. Yeah. He. I mean, he'd been beat up. So, but I don't, I don't know if it's continuation. It's on the right leg. I don't know if that was the same one that got dinged up at uh, UMass or not on the first drive. So. I don't know that question, but he had his best week of practice, and and uh, when he came out throwing the ball the way he did, I knew we were ready. Were you thinking the touchdown bust on the final drive? Uh, and I was just thinking one play at a time. Yeah, I mean, I knew we were going to score. You've seen some gutsy moments that have been good over the years. You have. Do you believe what you've just seen stacking here a little bit of time? No, no, I don't. I don't believe it. I mean. It's one thing to come back. It's another thing to be able to scramble for a couple of first downs to move in the pocket and deliver accurate throws. I mean, number one characteristic of an elite quarterback's toughness, and that dude's got it written all over him. Coach, how did you see the energy on the sideline change from Brady running out of time? That's, that's their guy, man. I mean, they just picked him up in the locker room, celebrated with him. That's their guy. They believe in him more than anybody else. We all do. In this building, Nobody, nobody doubts that guy. Any other questions for Coach? And hopefully nobody else will. Hopefully we'll get over that bull crap. Coach, going back to last year's all the game against Florida and then this game, what about Brady's attitude do you see of him on the field that just you know carries him to be able to bring the team back in situations that look very dire at the time? They know how hard he works. They know he's put in the preparation. They know he's put in um, the time. and, and uh, at the end of the day, you're never going to be perfect, right? There's going to be failures, but everybody's going to be able to lay their head on their pillow knowing that he did his best to give us a chance. And when somebody like that, when somebody does that, you want to lay it on the line for them. And um, they just raise their level of competitive spirit. Coach, I was going to get that nasty taste out of the last time we played this game. It was close Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, when it was 17-14, I thought it was a bad dream again because that was the same score as last time. And for us to find a way to go back and finish the game. Um, pretty special, pretty special. Kayla, there were some comments made from Hugh Freeze this week about 
you know, kind of complimentary toward you, but it seemed like it was maybe a comment on the talent on the roster. Did that get your locker room? And did you guys hear that at all? Did the players nope. talk about that? Nope. All right, thank you, Coach. Yep, M I Z.